Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angie. And guys, it is a new month and I have new goals. And so this is my May monthly reset video. And I really want to talk to you guys about just my new focus when it comes to working out and my new fitness goals. And also a little later today, um, talk about my diet reset. And then, yeah, I think um, I need to run to Trader Joe's and I thought it would be great to um, share with you guys like the top five foods that I buy every single week from Trader Joe's without fail that particularly for weight loss and all my weight loss goals, just the five foods that I reach for every single time. So let's get started. By the way, if you enjoy weight loss content, what I eat in a day videos and just overall lifestyle and health and wellness videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So this morning I started off with some strength training workouts and that is the biggest change in terms of my new fitness goals is that I'm incorporating way more um, strength training exercises. Um, I'm doing a, somewhere between two times a week, three times a week. My goal is to be a solid three times a week. Um, and guys, I'm starting off very slow. Um, I am using two pound weights um, just because I haven't done strength training or toning uh, or like real weightlifting classes in such a long time and to avoid injury and also to um, see better results. I'm starting off slower. And actually, when I first started about three weeks ago, I would say the first week, I did three to four days a week because I use no weights. And I will link down below a couple of videos, um, or actually two or three videos that I really, really like. And everything that I'm linking, I have, you know, I've done the exercises and I really enjoy them. But yeah, so I'm focusing on strength training um, as well as walking. And stay tuned because I will be uh, giving more details about the summer walking challenge. But in the meantime, at least three days a week and eventually work my way up to four days a week. Uh, three days during the week and one day on the weekend, I like to do solid strength training um, exercises. Right now I'm using two pound weights. Um, eventually I'm gonna move up to five pounds and then 10 pounds and so on. And also I am going to order some kettlebells. And once I get strong enough, like really strong enough, I'm going to add kettlebells into my routine um, and also um, add um, just kind of like those weighted, I believe they're like, they look like gloves, but they're weighted weights that you just wear on your hands. Um, I think they look like gloves. I think that's what I saw on Amazon. But once I order things, I'll definitely share it with you guys here on the channel so you can see what equipment I'm using. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited about the strength training. And once again, I'm taking things very slow, um, just like with my weight loss journey, just to make sure that not only am I, once again, losing weight and toning up, but I'm keeping it off for good and definitely making this part of my lifestyle change. So I'm super excited about that. Um, adding the weights, I've definitely seen a difference and I look forward to just more increased definition and toning. And also I'm seeing a little bit more weight come off my belly. And I know the more um, muscle you build on your body um, and the more you get in shape, you know, as your body kind of levels out, you know, everything will fall into proportion. So yeah, guys, the um, that's probably the biggest thing 
um, as well as the walking. And then one other thing in terms of my new fitness goals is one day a week, no exercise at all. I mean, I may go out for a casual walk, but I want that day to be for rest. I want one day a week, total rest, maybe some stretching. If I feel a little sit stiff or sore, I'll do some stretching, but otherwise I want one, one day where it's just total rest, I'm off. Um, because as you know, the more muscle you have on your body, the more, um, yeah, the more muscle you have, uh, the more fat you burn. So my goal is to continue to build muscle and burn more fat. And yeah, and definitely focus more on weight training, um, strength training, and um, but also keep my cardio in track. Uh, also keep my cardio, um, also keep my cardio up because that's just as important. So that is definitely um, something I'm excited about. I'll keep you, I'm taking you guys along with me on my journey. And yeah, I also like to do some actual workouts in a gym with a trainer. And once again, when that happens, I'll take you guys along and hopefully I can get some tips for myself, but also some tips for you guys too, particularly if you're looking to add more weight or strength training into your uh, fitness goals or your fitness routine. So I am in the kitchen because I want to talk a little bit about my diet or somewhat of a diet reset. So as I move forward, particularly going into the summer, guys, I am focused on healthy, of course, especially good healthy food for weight loss, but quick and easy, um, but still making sure I prioritize protein and I do want to say this about protein. Protein is very important. And I've talked to, I was talking to the trainer that I mentioned about, you know, the amount of protein. And so I have a sense of how much protein I should be eating for weight loss, but also to build muscle. Um, I'm definitely going to prioritize um, protein, guys. But I'm also going to get back to being focused on healthy carbs as well as healthy fat and fiber because fiber is so important. It's great for weight loss. Fiber is great for your overall gut health. And you guys know as well as working on um, weight loss, I am focused on gut health and particularly populating my gut with healthy microbes. Um, and I know I keep mentioning the food poisoning and it's only because it takes a while to get your gut back to a good, healthy um, place. And so I'm still working on that. I'm still enjoying like my favorite um, fermented foods. But in terms of diet, and this is not, this is actually not a food, but a supplement. I'm going to include uh, probiotics moving forward. I just feel like that's something that's missing um, and it won't be forever, but I think pri probiotics have its place. And I know as part of my diet moving forward, I want to include a good, healthy probiotic supplement. I've shared um, many of the probiotics that I've used on this channel. Um, and I'll link a couple below that I absolutely love, but that is going to be added back. Another thing, speaking of gut and weight loss and, um, and quick and easy and healthy is guys, I have been prepping every week chia seed pudding. I've been filling, almost filling this jar up with chia seed pudding every week love this stuff. Um, when I make my snack bowl, I'm actually going to make one today and I'll show you guys what I've been putting in it. And I can do, um, comment below if you want um, me to share in a future video what I've been putting in my um, chia seed pudding. And I'll actually um, include that in a future video for you guys. I know I've shared some recipes and previous videos. If I find one of the videos, 
I'll link it below. But yeah, chia seed pudding, absolutely love it. Um, I've been really like taking it to the next level if I eat it for breakfast. But most of my breakfast, um, I will continue with more of a savory breakfast, but I have been enjoying more like chia seed and getting back to my high protein pancakes. And I just ordered a waffle iron because I miss waffles. So I wanna make like some high protein waffles and pancakes, but guys make a big batch like like prep well in advance and then freeze them. And once again, for that quick, healthy, easy convenience, maybe pull two or three down, heat two or three up and add some yogurt on top, um, some nuts and seeds. Um, yeah, just a variety, fresh fruit. So definitely gonna keep that um, as part of my diet. But the other thing that I am bringing back. And also, I think I may want to do, you know, I love my challenges, y'all. Like, I love, a, I love a good challenge. I am going to be incorporating smoothies back into my diet. I took a little break from smoothies, but I'm ready. It's been warm outside. It's getting hotter. But not only that, sm smoothies are just so nutritious. And I was just like, I want to have first thing in the morning. Sorry about that. My camera died. <laughs> so I was talking about smoothies. They are so good for you. So nutritious. And so I'm definitely going to bring smoothies back. But I actually may even make them breakfast if I'm able to put enough protein in there. But if not, I'll definitely include it as part of my breakfast so maybe a tempeh toast or avocado toast um with tempeh or um a tofu scramble on toast with a nice smoothie on the side or just have a smoothie as like my morning kind of i guess snack between breakfast and lunch we'll see but definitely bringing smoothies back so i want to do one smoothie a day so yeah, I think I might have a smoothie challenge. I don't know, cause like I said, I love my challenges. We'll see, but definitely bringing smoothies back. But anyway, guys, yeah, it diet reset is about really focusing, um, continuing to focus on whole foods, um, lots of fruits and vegetables, smoothies, chia seed pudding, all the things that are easy, quick, convenient, fruit. I love starting my mornings with fruit. So yeah, just lots of just very quick and easy, but healthy meals and things that are great for weight loss. And as a matter of fact, I'll show you um, my favorite bowl I've been making with uh, coconut yogurt and the chia seed pudding. And so I'll make that. And then after that, guys, we're gonna head to Trader Joe's and check out the five items that I buy every week that I just love, 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 and they've been very helpful on my weight loss journey. So let's make our, I guess I'll call it my chia yogurt bowl now. Just another sunny day. I cut up a couple of kiwi. There is the chia seed pudding underneath, the coconut yogurt, 
and then some of that granola on top. And once again, I'll link to the Struisley granola, but it is so delicious. So good. Okay, guys, I'm at Trader Joe's and thought I'd take you through the five things I buy every week. Number one is leafy greens. Um, they are the foundation of my healthy diet. And in particular, I love this butter lettuce and radicchio salad. I get that every week. Next up is tofu and tempeh, which are both packed with protein and are low in calories. This is a major staple in my diet. And I know I mentioned earlier gut health. Well, tempeh is great for gut health which leads me to my next item, which is sauerkraut. Um, it is a probiotic powerhouse and a week is not complete without berries. I love berries. They are a staple in my diet. They're filled with antioxidants, lots of flavor. Um, I put them on everything and blue, I would say blackberries are my favorite. And then I also not only fresh berries, but I also purchase uh, frozen berries like the organic blueberries and wild blueberries. And finally, my trip is not complete without beans. <laughs> I love beans especially black beans and chickpeas, which are staples in my diet, but I'm starting to mix it up and add other beans. And one thing I will say with all of these items, I do tend to buy organic. Um, luckily at Trader Joe's, there's a great price for organic products. So thanks for watching.